The Hunger Games reality or myth? We've all been there. You're starving. Your stomach's growling loud enough to wake the neighbors. We're conditioned to believe that we need three square meals a day plus snacks to function. But throughout history, humans have fasted for religious, cultural, and even health reasons. And guess what? They survived. What if I told you that there's a way to potentially slow aging, grow new brain cells, and even help astronauts survive long space journeys, all without fancy technology or expensive drugs? In this video, we'll explore seven mind-bending facts about fasting that challenge everything we thought we knew about the human body. From a mysterious village in India to cutting-edge NASA research, these discoveries are reshaping our understanding of health and longevity. Stay tuned until the end to learn about a surprising connection between your gut bacteria and fasting that might just change the way you think about your next meal. Support us by hitting the subscribe and the notification bell to dive deeper into this health mysteries. Like this video and share your fasting experiences in the comments. Your insights fuel our next discovery as well as grow our channel. Let's face it, we live in a food-obsessed world. Fast food, junk food, food blogs, food photography, it's everywhere. Fasting isn't about deprivation. It's about activating your body's innate ability to heal, repair, and rejuvenate itself. So if you're ready to ditch the conventional wisdom on eating and unlock a healthier, more vibrant you, stick around. Fast forward to the 21st century. We're bombarded with fad diets and quick fixes. Fasting is having a major resurgence. It's no longer just about religious observance. Intermittent fasting in particular has exploded in popularity. This approach involves cycling between periods of eating and fasting. From celebrities to Silicon Valley execs, everyone's giving it a try. As we rediscover the power of fasting, we're also tapping into something deeper, something ancient and primal within ourselves. Fasting. It's not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing. It comes in different shapes and sizes, each with its own set of rules and potential benefits. At its core, fasting is about abstaining from food for a specific period. But how long you fast and what you consume or don't consume during that time can vary widely. Some people choose to only drink water, while others opt for bone broth or calorie-free beverages. The key is to find what works best for you. Just remember, this isn't a race. It's about listening to your body and finding a sustainable approach to fasting that fits seamlessly into your life. Let's talk about intermittent fasting, the rock star of the fasting world. It's like the trendy new restaurant everyone's raving about and for good reason. This approach is all about cycling between periods of eating and fasting, making it a more accessible option for beginners. The beauty of intermittent fasting is its flexibility. You can choose a fasting schedule that fits your lifestyle. It's all about finding a sustainable rhythm that works for you. Now, if intermittent fasting is like dipping your toes in the water, extended fasting is like diving headfirst into the deep end. We're talking about going without food for longer periods, typically 24 hours or more. Extended fasting takes you beyond the metabolic shifts of shorter fasts. It's like hitting the reset button on your body. Autophagy, that cellular cleaning process we talked about, it goes into overdrive during extended fasts. Extended fasting can be a profound experience, but it's essential to approach it with caution and respect for your body's limits. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty, the science behind fasting. Imagine your body as a hybrid car, effortlessly switching between two fuel sources, glucose from carbs and fat. When you stop eating, your body flips the metabolic switch, shifting from burning glucose to tapping into those fat reserves. This metabolic shift is key to understanding the benefits of fasting. Now let's talk about autophagy, a fancy word for your body's built-in recycling system. During a fast, as your body shifts into fat burning mode, autophagy kicks into high gear. This cellular rejuvenation is thought to play a role in everything from disease prevention to longevity. So the next time you're feeling hungry during a fast, remember those diligent little autophagy workers, diligently tidying up your cells. Fasting isn't just about flipping metabolic switches and cleaning house, it's also about giving your hormones a much needed vacation. When we're constantly bombarding our bodies with sugar and processed foods, insulin is forced to work overtime. But fasting, fasting gives insulin a break. During a fast, insulin levels drop, 
giving your cells a chance to reset and become more sensitive to its effects. So, fasting isn't just about depriving yourself, it's about giving your hormones a chance to rebalance and function optimally. If you found this journey through the fascinating world of fasting as intriguing as we did, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you tried fasting? What was your experience? Drop a comment below and let's start a conversation. And if you want to stay updated on more mind-bending health discoveries and wellness insights, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. By liking this video, you'll help us reach more curious minds like yours. Could fasting hold the key to a longer, healthier life? It's a question that has intrigued scientists and philosophers for centuries. Some scientists believe autophagy plays a crucial role in slowing down the aging process. Fasting improves insulin sensitivity, which is linked to a reduced risk of age-related diseases. The evidence so far is promising, suggesting that fasting could be a powerful tool for extending not just our lifespan, but our health span. Let's face it, we put our bodies through a lot. Processed foods, environmental toxins, stress, it takes a toll. One of the most well-known benefits of extended fasting is weight loss. And no, it's not just about the calorie deficit. Extended fasting can improve insulin sensitivity, helping your body regulate blood sugar levels more effectively. Extended fasting sends autophagy into overdrive, clearing out damaged cells and promoting cellular regeneration. While the physical benefits of extended fasting are impressive, the mental and emotional transformations can be equally profound. Many people report experiencing increased mental clarity and focus during and after extended fasts. Fasting can be challenging, but overcoming those hunger pangs and cravings can be incredibly empowering. Fasting can also be a deeply spiritual experience, a time for reflection, introspection, and connecting with something greater than yourself. Tread carefully. Potential risks of extended fasting. Fasting needs caution and respect. Nutrient deficiencies are a big concern. Dehydration is another risk. Refeeding syndrome is also a potential issue. Plan carefully and ideally, seek medical supervision. Separating fact from fiction. Addressing the controversies. Fasting is surrounded by myths and misconceptions. Let's cut through the noise and separate fact from fiction. Fasting doesn't put you into starvation mode. It actually boosts your metabolism and burns fat. Fasting isn't just a fad diet. It's about developing a healthier relationship with food. Extreme claims about living without food are dangerous. Approach fasting with skepticism and critical thinking. Mind over matter, navigating the mental hurdles of fasting. Let's be real. Extended fasting isn't just a physical challenge, it's a mental marathon. We live in a world obsessed with food. It's everywhere on TV, on billboards, constantly popping up in our social media feeds. No wonder resisting those cravings can feel like an uphill battle. One of the first hurdles you'll likely encounter is hunger. Those initial pangs can be intense, especially if you're used to grazing throughout the day. Your stomach might growl, your energy levels might dip, and your brain might start playing tricks on you, conjuring up images of feasts fit for a king. But here's the secret. Hunger comes in waves. It's not a constant state of misery. Think about it. Our ancestors couldn't just grab a snack bar whenever they felt a pang. They had to push through those hunger signals and keep going. And you know what? You can too. Distract yourself, stay busy, or even try tricking your brain by drinking water or herbal tea. You might be surprised how quickly your mind adapts and those cravings subside. Emotional roller coaster riding the waves of a fasting journey. Fasting isn't just about willpower, it's an emotional roller coaster. Buckle up because you're in for a wild ride. One minute you might feel exhilarated, empowered by your self control. The next, you might feel irritable, hangry, and ready to devour anything in sight. Fasting can bring up unexpected emotions. It's like a giant reset button, not just for your body, but for your mind and spirit. Old habits, buried emotions, and limiting beliefs might surface. Don't be surprised if you find yourself feeling more sensitive or emotionally charged than usual. The key is to ride those waves with self-compassion. Acknowledge your emotions without judgment. This is a journey of self-discovery, and it's okay to feel all the feels. Journaling, meditation, or talking to a supportive friend can help process those emotions and gain valuable insights. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. 
Millions of people have navigated the emotional ups and downs of fasting, and they've come out stronger on the other side. Embrace the ride and trust that you have the inner strength to handle whatever comes your way. Fasting 101, prepping for your fasting adventure. So you're ready to embark on your fasting journey. Fantastic. But before you ditch all the food in your pantry, let's talk strategy. Just like you wouldn't run a marathon without proper training, diving headfirst into a fast without preparation can be a recipe for disaster. First things first, consult with your doctor, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or take medications. Fasting isn't right for everyone, and it's crucial to get the green light from your healthcare provider before making any major dietary changes. Next, ease into it. Don't go from a diet of donuts and pizza to a week-long water fast overnight. Start with shorter fasts, like 12 or 16 hours, and gradually increase the duration as your body adapts. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. And speaking of food, pay attention to what you're eating in the days leading up to your fast. Focus on whole, unprocessed foods like fruits, vegetables, and lean protein. Avoid sugary drinks, processed junk, and heavy meals that will leave you feeling sluggish and craving sugar. Life in the Fast Lane Integrating fasting into a hectic world. Prep your body and mind for fasting. The real challenge, making it work with your busy schedule. Life doesn't stop just because you're fasting. Meetings, errands, kids' soccer practice, it can feel impossible. Fasting is surprisingly adaptable. Find a fasting schedule that fits your routine. Align your fasting window with your sleep patterns. Plan meals and snacks in advance. Hydration is key. Carry a water bottle everywhere. Fasting Forward. Unlocking the mysteries of a timeless practice. We've journeyed through the history, the science, and the personal experiences of fasting. Scientists are racing to unlock fasting's full therapeutic potential. Imagine fasting preventing and treating chronic diseases. Researchers explore fasting's impact on gene expression and the gut microbiome. The implications for human health are staggering. How do we translate findings into practical health guidelines? The fasting revolution, a return to our roots. So, there you have it. Fasting, it's not some new age fad diet, it's a practice as old as humanity itself, woven into our history, our cultures, and even our biology. From ancient rituals to cutting edge science, we've seen how fasting can transform our bodies and minds in profound ways. We've explored the metabolic magic that happens when we give our bodies a break from constant digestion. We've delved into the cellular cleaning crews of autophagy, working tirelessly to keep us running smoothly. And we've discovered how fasting can help us reset our hormones, sharpen our minds, and even reconnect with our inner selves. But beyond the science and the benefits, there's something deeply empowering about fasting. It's a reminder that we're not slaves to our appetites, that we have the power to make choices that support our health and well being. It's about taking control of our relationship with food and reclaiming our innate ability to thrive. We've journeyed through some fascinating discoveries about fasting. We learned about the fasting mimicking diet, which tricks the body into a fasting state. We explored how fasting might protect our brains and even promote new neural connections. We uncovered the paradox of the hunger hormone ghrelin during extended fasts. We ventured into space, discovering NASA's interest in fasting for astronauts. We visited the intriguing fasting village in India with its twice yearly tradition. We delved into the activation of longevity genes through fasting, but perhaps the most surprising discovery is yet to come. It's a finding that could revolutionize our understanding of fasting and its benefits. It turns out that the key to unlocking some of fasting's advantages might be living inside us all along. In recent years, scientists have made a groundbreaking discovery about our gut microbiome. They've identified specific bacteria that can mimic some of the effects of fasting even when we're eating normally. These fasting-mimicking gut bacteria produce compounds that can trigger similar metabolic changes to those seen during actual fasting periods. This discovery opens up exciting possibilities. Imagine being able to harness the benefits of fasting without the need for strict dietary restrictions. It suggests that by cultivating the right gut environment, we might be able to continuously enjoy some of fasting's advantages. But it goes even further. This finding is leading researchers to explore whether the varied responses to fasting among individuals might be partly due to differences in their gut microbiomes. It raises intriguing questions. 
Could we enhance the effects of fasting by promoting these beneficial bacteria? Might future probiotics be designed to amplify fasting's positive impacts? This revelation not only sheds new light on why fasting can be beneficial, but also points to potential new directions in personalized nutrition and health optimization. It underscores the complex interplay between our diet, our microbiome, and our overall health, reminding us that the journey to understanding the human body is far from over. Your fasting journey starts now. Listen, explore, and thrive. Ready to join the fasting revolution? Fantastic. But before you embark on your journey, remember this. Fasting is a personal practice. There's no one-size-fits-all approach. What works for one person might not work for another. So listen to your body, start slowly, experiment with different fasting methods, and find what feels sustainable and enjoyable for you. Don't be afraid to reach out for support, whether it's from a healthcare professional, a registered dietitian, or a supportive fasting community. And remember, fasting is not about deprivation, it's about abundance. It's about rediscovering the joy of eating, appreciating the nourishment food provides, and honoring the incredible resilience of our bodies. Now go forth, explore the world of fasting, and unlock the incredible potential within you. And hey, while you're at it, share your experiences in the comments below. Let's learn and grow together on this incredible journey.